All right, so we have one more to go. Freak show. There it is. Now, after this one, we're gonna go to the big top. And uh, that's a real cool level. Really well done. Nice to make. And uh, this one also is a real, real fun level. As you can see, it's really well made. <coughs> and uh, there's a lot of different characters in this one. Different types of characters. They use different characters for each level, which is uh, very creative on their part to make the game more fun. Yeah, I saw you, I saw you. Can't sneak up. Spider Man. Oh. There, got him. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, the fat woman, dead fat woman. Oh, we face maggots. Mm -hmm. And just the scenery, you know, it's very creative. Right here, this is the best part of the whole The game that I like. How it decays like that. Perfect. Museum. We have that one. Trying to sneak up on you. Gotcha. There's another heart right there. Oh. Sometimes, you know, you just move too fast, you can't get those hearts. <clears throat> well, imagine being in a real place like this. Oh. Damn. You try to sneak up on you all the time. Got you. <clears throat> that one away. And here comes a little mini boss. I like these ones. Bulging little eyes. Oh. And see, if you keep on hitting him before he comes at you. He will never hit you. Or if you kill him fast enough, he will never hit you. This is a real, real creative level that they put into this. Part of the level that they put into his level. Now I got the flames. And I like those psycho, um, old ancient treatments of uh, mental patients, you know. 1800 treatments or 1500, whatever. And yeah, it seems like, I don't even know, if you shot that guy up good enough, I don't know if you would get a bonus or what, but I always thought about that. There we go again, trying to sneak up. And this is a little cool part right here, you did a real good job in this part of the level. Right down the drain. Especially with two players, this is a real fun game, I mean, it, it, it was real fun playing this in the arcade, especially with like a buddy, it's, it's a real fun game, real challenging, really. Human sludge. Out the exit. More stamina. Oh, oh! And here we go. Just about the end. Big old baby. Big old, big old baby. Don't wake the baby. <clears throat> they did a good job also on this battle sequence. Now there's no real particular part to hit the baby. I would say like in the head is an obvious place. But other than that, anywhere in the body does the trick. You just have to be real quick with your trigger finger. Right there, got him. See, he was gonna hit me, but I, but I deterred him from it because I shot him a lot of times. That's what you're supposed to do with bosses. You shoot them enough times, and it deters their attacks on you. Just 
coming. He's coming, coming, coming. And now he's chasing us. You know, they did, they did a good job on this. And he should be dead right there. Like, you know, you shot him up. Like, right. But he doesn't really die until he gets close to the... His crib. And then, like... There you go. All fried up. He's dead. Alright? So instead of just having this be uh, another small part, we're just gonna finish the game off in this one video. So here we are, Big Top. And this level is a real fun level, it's kinda difficult. Um, there's a lot of elements to the levels, to the level, and uh, once you see it, I mean, they put a lot of stuff, they shove a lot of stuff in this final level it's really enjoyable on the developers and for the people who play the game and there's a killer clown right there I always thought that they're real cool and uh, this is the funny little part right here small little thing and a big old damn clown comes out and the mines um, they don't really do nothing this kind of like uh, annoyance kind of funny you can blast them even while there's other um, characters attacking me. Gotcha. You can blow their heads off. And there's a lot of monsters that try to sneak up on you in this game. But it's better with two players, of course, it is. And that one came out of nowhere. Big old damn time. See, oh, oh! It's all running around circles. Ugh. Skeleton face. See, oh, oh! The dog thing. There's another. Gotta get those bullets. Wait, yeah. <clears throat> That's right in the back. Like the the developers have you, the character, go through all of the sections of the big top. This is a real creative little part of the level. Climb up there, get even more higher, and jump there. There you go. And that one pushes you off. Jump off. Fall off. And here comes this is a little funny part too. You know, this is a big surprise. I'm surprised that Gorilla doesn't come on attacking. And those towns are pretty damn freaky looking too freaky. Cool. Oh. Cut his face off. Now we're nearing the we're nearing the end. Alright. Boss time. Big big boss. Welcome aboard. Everything gets quiet. I have observed your every move, but you do not obey. Prepare to die. <laughs> Here we go. This guy doesn't look much, but I mean, he really is he really is tough. And I also liked this. You got to actually meet this character face to face. I'm loud, whatever they call, him, and fight him. You know. 
and the way that he dies, all the little pixel CGI particles breaking apart. And like I said, like this guy, you're shooting at, I'm shooting him right now, and he doesn't seem like much, but when you're playing this game in arcade, he's difficult as, as hell. Hard as hell. You probably use up more quarters in a, in a sh fighting him than you do in the whole entire game, I would say. Oh. He always gets you what you've done, always does. Another one. Trying to keep keeps on keeps on getting away. Oh. Keep on scratching. Oh, oh. Now you must die. Oh. Right in your face. You're almost gone, buddy. You're almost there. You see how this level is? And then you start bringing out the fireworks. And now, there's the final part. Boom! Bang! Oh! And this is a cool little ending right here, I always like this. Awesome job on the developers, awesome job on the graphics, music, everything. Heart and soul, law of thought. It's a real fun game. Real, real fun. What's going on? I always thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool just to be in this world, just to walk around in this guy's world, this CG world? It'll be a trip. Maybe one day, we'll have virtual reality and we'll do it. And, what a mistake. Uh-oh. And, this is the end. This is Richard Cespedes. Thank you very much. This is the full gameplay of Carnival. Thank you very much for watching.